Hello, my friends. My name's Ace Jet, and guess what? It's here. Yeah. Train Simulator 2022 has arrived. Ready for a new series on this channel because every time a new train simulator comes out, uh, a few things do change uh, on the channel, but they are going to get better. Now, before we get started, I want to say I did make a mistake in my last video I did upload. If you guys saw the strength challenge video I did with the 9F and the 6MT, I got the 6MT's name wrong. I pronounced the name as Clan Camp Bell, but actually it's pronounced as Clan Campbell. My dad told me about that, and uh, I feel quite stupid now. <laughs> Lazy Jet's dyslexic and stupid. Hey. Now, my dad told me about the word clan. I, if I remember well, although my memory isn't very good, I think clan is another word for group. So I want to quickly apologise for saying the name wrong on the 6MT. Uh, I, I do get a lot of things wrong, but I, when I make a mistake, I do own up to it. I don't lie, I, I, don't, I don't hide things, I, I, I just tell the truth and just say, I made a mistake, I'm an idiot, let's just move on. And I just realised I'm wearing a bright yellow t-shirt, I look like Morty from Rick and Morty, so that's, um, that's funny, isn't it? But back to Trace Simulator 2021, one? No, no, not 21, no. Train Simulator 2022, yes, that's that's going to be really hard to get into my brain now, because every time I start an intro, like, i got to start the uh, start the intros of um, Welcome to Train Simulator 2022 now. That's going to be so weird. I mean, I'm, I'm used to saying 2021, but 2022, that's going to be a bit of a challenge, isn't it, Oliver? <laughs> And to start off, I love the new background. I like we've got a bit of American, a bit of German, and a bit of British uh, trains in the background. I do like the Acela Express right in the middle. I think that's a good touch. And I want to say that this background is probably one of the most brightest, colourfulest backgrounds on Train Simulator I've ever seen so far. I've ever seen so far, sorry. This is just my opinion, but I think this is the most colourfulest background they've ever done. So, um, Dovetail Games, like, I love the new background. Although there is one thing that I am, you know, a bit, you know, disappointed about the background. That's right, there's no steam engines, Dovetail. Dovetail Games, if you're watching this, not complaining, just a little, uh, constructive criticism. <laughs> It would be nice if we could have some steam trains in the background, like, I don't know, like a Class A4, or even Tornado. I, th I think Tornado would look amazing um, in this game, like, in, in the background or something. But enough of all this nitpicking, because all I'm doing is going nip, 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 nip. Is the game actually any good? Well, let's find out. So let's click Drive. Now, this is the Deluxe Edition, which means that it actually comes with four new routes. I'll leave a link in the description below if you guys want to go to Steam, buy the Trace Simulator Deluxe Edition, because it comes with four new routes, and they are actually pretty good. We've got a nice American route with the Acela Express, Washington to, I believe that's Baltimore, I think that's what, it's, what, what it says. We've got Birmingham Cross City route, that sounds interesting. And I believe we've got two German routes, that looks really fun. We've got this one, which I don't know what it is. I don't know nothing about German trains. If those of you who are, are German, and if you're watching this, I'm sorry, I just don't know, I know nothing about German trains or German routes at all. But if you are German, uh, and if you want to check out these two German routes, go, go right ahead. Or even if you're not German, if you, just wanna, if you just like the German routes, check them out, because these two look very fun. I mean, I might actually want to check them out later. But which one of these routes should we try out? I think we should try out, hmm, decisions, decisions. Uh, I think we should try the Birmingham Cross City. Right, let's go to electric and see uh, if, well, if the game doesn't crash. What train do we need? We need the class, well, I think it's this thing, the class 323. Oh, this looks interesting. Um, should we have three cars? Six? Oh, well, let's have six cars. That'll be, uh... That'd be a, that'd be interesting. Um, so we should have it in uh, autumn because you know it is it's October now. It's getting colder. Uh, we'll have it a bit cloudy and we'll have it around about like like one o'clock in the afternoon. I think that'd be a good idea. Click start and let's see what it's like. Ha <laughs> ha! We loaded in right. Um, so it kind of looks just looks like a class four fifty, I suppose. Um, let's have a look. Ooh, this has got a lot of good detail, hasn't it? Right, where are we? Look like we're in the middle of nowhere. Oh look, there's more trains down there. Is that another? What kind of train is that down there? It looks like a 350. It is a 350. This, is this the West Coast Main Line or something? Oh, why is there a Main Line that's just got? Oh, okay. Well, that that just disappeared. <laughs> why is there a Main Line that doesn't actually go anywhere? How strange. 
But back to my train, um, what class is this? Uh, it's a class 323. Three. It's not as nice as the, as the 350 though, I have to be honest. But it does look pretty cool. Right, let's open the doors. Um, let's see if that works. Ooh, that works. Very nice. Can I press 5 to go inside? Ooh, yes. Can I move around? No, I can't move around. Oh, that's a shame. But the inside does look very nice, doesn't it? Look at all these lights. Very modern, very nice. Right, let's get my train ready. So let's turn the cab light. Oh, actually, we don't need the cab light. I oh, will turn that off. Um, we need to put the master key in, I believe. Oh, just took a screenshot. Did not mean to do that. Right, uh, master key. How, where is the uh, master key? There we go. Put it in forward. Ooh. No, turn that off. Oh, my God. What's this? Uh, the DRA. I think we need to flick that off, I believe. I think. I can do this. I can do this. Um, doors are closed. Yep. Everyone on board? I think so. Whew. This is going to be a uh, very track challenge, isn't it? Right. Um, release brakes. Brakes off. Lights uh, on. And we're, we're going backwards. Let's... I don't want to go backwards. Let's go forwards. There we go. Oh my god, it's making a weird noise, isn't it? Uh, give it power three and let's see what it looks like and sounds like. It's making a weird noise, isn't it? I've never heard a train do that before. That's a first. Oh, it's got a pentagraph! Sweet! So this might be a uh, maybe a high speed, well, not a high speed train, but it'll probably be a quite a fast one. Oh, I'm switching track! Well, that's cool. And already I'm speeding. Okay, let's slow it down. The thing is, I'm not very good with these modern trains. Uh, what does the horn sound like? Oh, does it have a second horn? Yes! So it's got a two-tone. Now we have two options. We can either be a normal train driver and go really slowly and be sensible, or we can go maximum power and go speed! Because you know me, I never do things by the book. I never do things sensibly. Well, we'll get, let's get like a cool epic shot of, of a... Drive-by. <laughs> that was pretty funny. You know, the Class 323 does look very weird, I have to say. I've got to be honest, I'm not a big fan of the Class 323, but, you know, gotta, you know, make do's, make do's. I mean, a lot of people do like these kind of trains. I mean, I'm just one of those people who don't, but... You know, it's, it's my opinion. My opinion means nothing, Oliver. It's, it's just, you know, everyone is entitled to their opinion, and, th and this is my one. Oh, look, I think there's a petrol station over there. A lot of people in Britain are panicking over fuel right now. Oh, no, my train just stopped. <laughs> Why has that happened? Was I going too far? I think I, I think I do have to follow the speed limit then. Let's see if we can, um... There we go. Um, brake release... How do I release the brakes? No, the train has just decided we, we just don't want to go anymore. Okay, let's release the brakes and go forward again. Maximum power. Go, 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 go. Why is my wipers on? Turn the wipers off. <laughs> have I left my wipers on? How do I turn them off? Wipers off? No, that just makes it go faster, doesn't it? That's off. There we go. Got a lot of problems here, Mr. Oliver. Everything seems to be going wrong. So I guess we do have to follow the speed limit, always the train will just say, nope, I'm just I'm just gonna cut out and just apply my brakes automatically. Ding! Right, uh, so speed limit is 60 miles per hour. It's gonna be 60 miles per hour. So I can't go above 60. That's a shame. I guess it's because that these are not high-speed trains. They're, they're commuter trains that stop at every station, so they're not really designed for speed. Which makes sense, of course. So, Train Spirit 2022. Do I like it? Yes, I actually do. Oh, we're speeding again. Apply the brakes. There we go. The only thing I'm hoping for, if Dovetail Games do something that's more Steam-related, like um, maybe making a better version of the Flying Scotsman model in this game, because, let's be honest, the Flying Scotsman in this game is, is pretty uh, it's pretty old now. It would be nice if Dovetail could make a, an updated version of Flying Scotsman. Or maybe a better version of Tornado! <gasps> that would be amazing, to get like a, a high-quality model of a... Of, of Tornado in this game. That would be, uh, that'd be really exciting. I'm giving all, that, all these ideas that were, of what I like. I need to hear other, what, what other people might like about what they would like to see in Trace later in the future. But me personally, I would like to see more Steam stuff. Steam, Steam stuff in, in, in Trace later in the future. Oh no, the brakes have just applied again! Oh no! 
I, I was doing the speed limit. I was, I was, I was, I was being good. I was being good, train. I wasn't speeding. Please, no. <laughs> oh, now it wants to go by itself. I, I, I didn't even touch anything. Now the train's moving. This train has a mind of its own. Okay, now I'm terrified. But that concludes our video for today, my friends. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Enjoy Train Simulator 2022. I will be making so much more videos of this game in the future. Oh, and the train's just stopped again. This, this, this train cannot make up its mind. Oh, now there's another train in the way. Make sure you click the subscribe button. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram and Twitch. All the links are in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. And I'll see you guys again next time. Bye for now. Farewell. Bye. things sort of